What's going on everybody? I'm your host Cameron and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do character switching in the menu. So in a lot of other FNAF games or a lot of other FNAF fan game or fan games, usually in those games there's a character on the right side of the menu and he's usually twitching about and trying to kind of frighten the player and just show them who's boss basically trying to show them that it's not they're not as friendly as they seem and that is exactly what we're going to be doing in today's tutorial so we're gonna make our freddy over here twitch look a lot scarier and just generally do all just generally do all that uh this is part of my clicking tutorial series on how to make a um fnaf fan game so basically this is part 1b so this is an optional tutorial you don't have to follow this if you don't want to uh basically this is just for character twitching, nothing major. Uh, I don't know what we're doing next, uh, but I'll find that out when we get there. But just a reminder that Click Team is currently on a 75% discount, so you can go buy it for 25 bucks instead of 100. So if you have the free version of Click Team, I would suggest you buy that right now because I'd rather spend $25 on Click Team now then $100 on Click Team after the sale is over, which is going to end July 13. Once again, I'm not sponsored, but this tutorial series kind of runs on the standard version. So if there's a lot of things you can't do with the free version, don't complain about it because you can't do a whole lot with the free version. But anyway, let's get to it. So our Freddy here is looking is looking a little stationary so we're gonna make him a lot scarier by adding some other animations to it so double click into your Freddy and we're going to add three more animations over to the left now you might see it like this where there's a lot of animations which if that's the case just uncheck show all so you can only show the certain amounts that you like just show the animations that you're gonna use so right now we are on stop which is just Freddy but we're gonna add three more animations. We're gonna go right click, new, and we're just gonna title this Freddy Twitch One. And what do you think we're gonna do with Freddy Twitch One? Well, I'm gonna insert another frame with Freddy on it. This one is with his like uh, hands on his mouth. Uh, I don't really remember where his, it, I think it's a reference to like Wither Freddy when he used to have his like mouth or his hand on his mouth to open up. Or actually, I think there was spring trap, I believe, but that's kind of what this frame is. Additionally, I'm gonna do another animation. Now, I also want to say I'm gonna title this uh, Freddy animation, or no, Freddy Twitch 2. Um, basically, you can do as many like Twitch animations as you want. It doesn't really matter, but I only added three more animation frames. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna insert another frame of Freddy here. So I only have three separate frames where Freddy is looking creepy. This next frame is him just kind of looking down at you with his like white eyes. Uh, but you can add like 10 of, of these frames if you want to. Um, but I'm only adding three additional ones because I'm not trying to work as hard on drawing this. But you, you'll get the idea of it. Um, Freddy Twitch 3. What the? This keyboard is acting a little goofy. Um... So once again, you can add like a Freddy Twitch 4, 5, 6, it doesn't really matter. I'm just adding three Freddy Twitch animations. Um, and we're going to use this one where his eyes are black, he, he, his mouth is open, he's looking a little creepy. And after you got all of your Twitch animations done, you want to go over to View Hotspot, hold down Alt, or actually I don't think you have to hold down Alt since it's only one frame, but just press the middle square uh, on all these to go. Freddy Twitch 2, middle square, Freddy Twitch 1, middle square, and even go over to your stop animation and press the middle square because that'll help in the future. Uh, just make sure you got all that, press OK. You might have to move your Freddy back down, which if that's the case, you can just go right click, uh, align in frame, horizontal center, right click, align in frame, uh, vertical center. But of course, if that doesn't work, you can just go back and you can actually go up to this little uh, kind of grid with a magnet on it called snap to grid click that and then you can just drag it and it'll oh, Perfectly kind of connect to whatever corner your Freddy is in But after you got all that Now what we're gonna do is we're going to insert two counters. So I'm gonna insert object We're gonna go over to uh, counter 
We are going to title this Freddy Twitch Activation. So this is going to be a counter that activates our Freddy like Twitch. Uh, I'm also going to actually change the color of this too. So just double click into it and I'm just going to make the color of this like green so we can see it on our uh, menu. So it doesn't like uh, blend in because the base color is black. So you can just change it to like green, white, whatever you want. So I'm just going to color all the numbers in like this with green. So that way I can put it on my menu and I can easily see it. And as you can see, it's right there. So additionally, I'm going to insert a, another counter. And this one is going to be called Freddy Twitch. Is my Freddy? Oh my God! Freddy Twitch animation. So, and I'm also gonna change the color of this to uh, let's change the color of this to uh, aqua or blue, light blue, whatever you want to call it. Uh, sky blue, as some people call it. And I'm just gonna color all these numbers in so I can easily like see which one it is. So I'm gonna color this one in. Cool, so now we have this. So the green counter is the activation and the blue counter is the animation that plays. So once you have all that done, go over to your event editor and we're going to insert a group of events and we're going to call this Freddy Twitch Animation. I got a new keyboard and it sounds pretty nice but it is kind of hard to control since I've never had a keyboard this small before but anyway once you have your freddy twitch animation um kind of event folder down you want to go over to new condition and we are going to start off by going storyboard controls start a frame and we're going to go over to our freddy right click animation change animation sequence to stop so whenever you start off freddy will just stop he won't do nothing right now which is good which i think and he'll do that anyway, but just to make sure he's on a stop animation, it'll be right here. Once you have that done, what I'm going to do is I am going to go over to new condition. I'm going to go over to the timer every, and I'm going to say every 25 hundredths of seconds, Freddy will change his alpha blending coefficient between 50 and 100 or 35 and 100. So I'm going to go effect set alpha blending coefficient and i'm going to go random range 35 to 100 and this kind of it calls back to the first game where freddy used to be like he would kind of fade into the darkness almost like there was like a light flashing on him when really it's just him turning more and more invisible so to make sure this works you go over on frame and as you can see he is looking like that where he is kind of going a little darker almost but really he's just kind of fading into the background which actually sells um sells the look a little bit you don't have to add that in if you don't want to but i'm going to keep that but now we're going to get to the twitch so now we're going to go over to new condition we're going to go over to freddy twitch activation i put a t instead of a y in there i don't know why compare the animation and we're going to uh, compare the counter. We're going to say when the counter equals zero, I'm going to go over to Freddy, right click, animation, change, animation sequence to stop. So when the animation or when the activation is not playing, it'll just play the stopped animation. So once we have that down, we want to go over to new condition and we want to make it so that when Freddy switch activation is equal to one, then we can go over to the Freddy Twitch animation, right click, set counter, random range, and one to three. Now this is all depending on like how many frames you have or how many like other like Twitch animations you have. So for example, I have three separate animations where Freddy is twitching. So I added a three to the end. But if you have like five, then you can just change it to like five. If you have like seven, change it to seven. If you have 12, change it to 12. But I have three, so I'm just going to set it to three. And once you have that done, you want to go over to new condition again. Go over to Freddy Twitch activation again. Go over to compare the counter to your value. And when it is greater than one, 
oh not greater than zero when it is what the when it is greater than one set both the freddy twitch activation to zero and go over to your freddy twitch animation and set that to zero as well so that should work now that should be pretty good so basically this is just like when it's not on it's playing the style of the animation when it's on it's randomly twitching between three frames looking like he's uh like off a perk or something when it is greater than one then that means it just resets back to zero so now we're gonna go over to new condition i'm gonna go over to the timer every use a calculation and I am going to go over to random and change this to 250 to 1,000. Now, this works on 1,000th of a second. So basically, oh, excuse me, 1,000th of a second is one second. So basically, it's like, uh, how does it work? Is it like 25 hundredths of a second? Between 25 hundredths of a second and one second, it'll randomly start the Twitch animation, if that if that makes any sense. So, you can obviously make it way bigger, so if you want to make it 250 and like 10,000, then that means between 25 hundredths of a second and 10 seconds, then it's going to play the animation, which makes it shorter, but if you want it that way, you can make it that way. So, I'm going to just keep it 250, 1,000, that's okay. And then I'm going to make it so that every time that appears, or every time that it counts zero or whatever, it adds one to the Freddy Twitch activation. So it adds one to the activation, which will then randomly set one of these counters to one to three. And to see if this works, as you can see, it does work. And how it does work is this green counter is the activation and this blue counter is the animation that's playing so as you can see when it reaches zero that means it'll just stay this however when it's like you know doing this thing down here one to three that means it is twitching around right here and this counter right here is activating this counter so once you have that done then all you gotta do is go over to new condition go over to your freddy twitch animation convert the counter to a value when it is one, go over to Freddy, right click, animation, change, animation sequence to Freddy Twitch one. And then you can just drag this down to new condition and then double click onto that and change that to two. Oh, what the, change that to two. And then you can drag this check mark down where it says change animation sequence to Freddy Twitch one and then change that or edit that so it says Freddy Twitch two. Or, if you don't want to like drag it down, even though it's a lot faster, you can always just go new condition, uh, Freddy Twitch animation, compare the counter to your value, is equal to 3, and then you go over to your Freddy, right click, change, animation, sequence, to Freddy Twitch 3, and obviously, if you have more than that, you can just go like Freddy Twitch animation equals 4 or 5, and then change your uh, animation sequence to Freddy Twitch 4 or 5. Stuff like that, but of course, I only have three frames. So, if I did this correctly, it should work. And as you can see, it works just fine. And you know, it, it plays every once in a while, and it just plays him going crazy. Now, obviously, as you can see, it's pretty fast. Um, now, you can keep it like this if you like it. If you like it being really fast, you can keep it like that. But let's say I want Freddy's stop animation to appear for a longer time or a longer duration. I could just go over here to every 20, um, 250 to 1000, and I could just change, this, change that to like 750 to 3000. So every 75 hundredths of a second and every three seconds, it'll start and stop that animation. So as you can see, it's taking longer to do it now and it plays for longer. But if you're like, oh, well, you know, that Twitch is pretty quick, it's really fast, it's kind of it, it, nauseating, you can always just go over to, um, uh, where is it, where is it, you can always go over to uh, Freddy Twitch activation equals one, and you can just go right click, insert the timer every like five, uh, every like ten hundredths of a second, then you can make it like, it, that just makes it slower. So basically every 10 hundredths of a second, it'll play it a lot slower like this. 
Now, obviously, ours was going really quick because we never we never had like an every counter here because when you don't have that, it kind of just tells Click Team to go as fast as possible, and that's kind of why it goes this quick. Which, if you like that, you can keep it that way. But if you're like, nah, I want it to go a little slower, you can always go over to equals one, right click, insert, timer, every 10 hundredths of a second, then you can make it slower. But if you want it a little faster than that, but not as fast as that, you can always just go 5 hundredths of a second, or anything like that. And it'll play just a bit faster. And as you can see, I think that's pretty good. So... Yeah, that's effectively our Ready Twitch animation, and obviously after you're done with all that, you can just hold down Shift, and then select both of these, and then put them out of your way. So, thank you guys so much for watching, that's all I have for this tutorial, um, for just a basic Twitch in the menu, not too hard to learn. Uh, I can understand if you get a little lost when it's like Freddy Twitch activation and Freddy Twitch animation, because they sound close enough to the same and if you read it too fast it could almost sound like activation is animation or animation is activation stuff like that but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next episode